Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. I'm Kelsey, and today I am here to talk to you about my June update. First of all, I cannot even believe that it's June. Um, this first half of the year has flown by for sure. Um, so I wanted to, first of all, um, in this update, I wanted to talk a little bit about the last couple of months and how I have really been struggling. I've gained the weight the last two or three months and just really um, had a little bit of a tough time. So I think one of the things that I am struggling with right now is um, trying not to be too hard on myself. So I feel like I'm feeling a lot of shame for gaining a little bit of weight, even though like my channel is, hey, how this is how you do keto and how you lose weight and all the things. So um, I think I would first of all like to say that my channel is just about the journey and how um, it is a struggle, like the day-to-day -day journey of you know prioritizing your health is a journey and it takes a lot of time and effort. Um, to make that happen. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit for this update. And the first thing that I wanna talk about are you know three things that I am proud of this month. And then we'll get into how much weight I lost and some things that maybe I could tweak the next month. So let's get into the things that I feel proud of myself for. So number one, I finished my Couch to 5K program. Uh, that eight weeks of increasing my running. Um, to the point where the first week I would run for 60 seconds at a time and then I would walk for three minutes and then I'd run for 60 seconds and I'd walk for three minutes and you know that was hard to do not impossible but it was hard um, but by week eight I was running 30 minutes straight without stopping so um, finishing the couch to 5k I ended up running I think 2.65 miles the last day of my couch to 5k so I still wasn't quite up to a 5k but I was up to 30 minutes running straight so I have about two and a half weeks until my my actual 5k race that I registered for and um, I'm just gonna push towards the actual mileage of 3.1 miles so I have accomplished the 5k already I did not run the race but I have been practicing um, so I have actually run a 5k twice so I've run 3.1 miles two times and done pretty good with it so it is hard it is a challenge um, but I am doing it and my plan is to just keep on working on that I also got back into fasting a little bit this month as you guys have heard in the past I've been struggling a little bit with um, just incorporating the longer fasts and then recovering from those fasting days and just overeating and it just ended up feeling like it wasn't right at the moment and um, I just needed a little break from the pressure of those longer fasts but this month I decided to go ahead and give it another try and I was able to complete a 60 hour fast and then a 47 hour fast so those were two really great fasting accomplishments that I feel proud of as well and last but not least I um, at the last month I talked to you guys about um, trying the protein sparing modified fast style of eating and I did do that for several days tried it um, I definitely want to incorporate it a little bit more but um, if I'm actually doing fasting the um, protein sparing uh, modified fast um, that's not exactly uh, it doesn't go well with fasting so because it's kind of like a fasting a different way of fasting it kind of tricks your body into thinking it's fasting but you're actually um, ingesting quite a bit of protein so um, if I continue on with the longer fasts every week, I probably will not do as much protein sparing modified fast. But I did try several different recipes and some things that I enjoyed, um, and I hope to be sharing those as recipes on the channel um, over the course of the next month or so. So now on to how much did I lose this month? Um, I weighed in on July 2nd and I weighed in at 194.2. If you remember from May or June 1st, I weighed in at 197.2. So I'm down three full pounds for the month of June. Um, now I am a little bit discouraged considering the fact that I have been running regularly, that which is a huge uptick in my, um, in my exercise routine. 
I felt like I would see a bigger loss based on based off of the fasting that I was doing and based on the running the consistent running every other day um, but losing three pounds is better than gaining three pounds so I feel you know good about that there are definitely things about this month that I didn't do well and um, if you remember from last month's web update I had printed out contracts with myself and I did great reading the contract every morning the first week and then we went away on the day that I was supposed to renew my contract and I left it at home and I forgot about it and I came home a couple days later and just it completely slipped my mind and Honestly, I just totally forgot about it for a couple weeks and then I'm you know thinking it near the end of the month I'm like, oh, you know that probably would have been a really helpful tool for me to use So the first week was really great and it did keep me accountable and keep that commitment in my mind I have like three or four of the contracts uh, that are not filled out I'm just gonna scribble out the date and I'm gonna try to use those this month um, because I think it's a really good tool to just remind me why I want to do what I'm doing. We had a couple of days each week where I just, I did not do perfectly keto. I, you know, I did not track nearly as much as I wanted to. Um, so those are kind of some of the areas that I definitely had some shortcoming in. So I wasn't, I fell short in those areas. Um, so what am I going to do going into the month of July? Um, am I setting new goals for myself? Am I um, using any of the goals that I set for last month? Or what, what are we doing? So I sat down with my calendar and I, I planned out that I would like to do four fasts that are, you know, 36 hours or more. We'll see how it goes. If I continue to stay strict keto, the fasting does come a little bit easier. So I think it'll be easier to go longer if I am um, consistent with how I'm fueling my body. So um, they're definitely linked right to each other. So um, I wanna do more fasting. I also will try to be using those uh, contracts, as I mentioned a few minutes ago. I want to get up at 5 a.m. every day in July. So it's July 2nd right now, and I've gotten up at five yesterday and today. Um, and I just wanna get back into the five o'clock mornings because that gives me the time to do the routine that I like to stick with in the mornings to set my day up well. What I do for my morning routine is I wake up, I um, go do some stretches for my back, which are really important. Um, just help loosen up my back from uh, the night's rest and then I sit down and I listen to my Bible and I spend some time in prayer and try to read something and then um, I do a little bit of journaling as well and during this time I also go through some visualizations and affirmations that I just like to remind myself um, of life in general the keto diet and um, who I want to be as a person so um, it just kind of solidifies in my brain what I am trying to do with my life it's a do as long as I get to bed at a decent hour so you know with that comes a nine o'clock bedtime so I would like to log in my fasting app I use the fasting app zero and I want to log every single day what hours I've fasted so you know on the days that I'm doing like a 36 to 48 hour fast I will have that labeled as fasting but on the days that I'm intermittent fasting I would like to log like an 18 hour fast or a 16 hour fast. I just wanna log the hours that I fasted so I can kind of keep an eye on how much time I'm fasting. Um, along with that logging, I am going to, I'm using the app Carb Manager now, and so I'm going to be, my goal is to log my food in my app when on my eating days. So considering the fact that I'm trying to do a two day fast a week, that's only four or five days of uh, logging food so that actually takes a lot of the work away so um, I just want to keep better track of what I'm doing so that I know I'm not mindlessly eating I'm not um, you know I just want to keep track of what I'm doing so that maybe if I don't lose weight this month I am going to be like okay well this you're constantly going over your carbs or you're going you're doing too much too many calories on your eating days or whatever um, maybe you're having coffee like four times a day like me so I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to just, it's just the better accountability and just gives me more metrics to follow um, if I need to tweak something. I am 
possibly thinking about doing a sardine fast and an egg fast. Um, those two fasts are kind of going around the internet right now and uh, people are seeing some good weight loss with them. Um, so I actually have found an accountability partner that is going to be doing at least a sardine fast with me I think next week. Um, so you'll have to stay tuned. I'll definitely uh, film the results for that and how that goes and share it with you guys and you know, I'll let you know how it went. One thing I am struck by is that it is July and that means we are halfway through the year. So, you know, I feel like I haven't really made a lot of progress this year, but um, I'm ready to make the rest of the year count. So we have six months left until the end of the year and I'm ready to show up for that. What are you guys doing for goals for the rest of the year or for this month? Is there something, a challenge that you're trying to do to improve your health? and your wellness or your physical fitness, um, comment below and let me know what you're trying to do this month or what your focus is going to be. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. Um, if, if this video was valuable to you at all, um, comment below and let me know and smash that like button. As always, I hope wherever you're at today, you're having a great day and we'll see you soon friends.